Okay, so this is section G, this is a miscellaneous section, which is the section that most people drop the most number of marks on. And uh, these questions aren't too bad, they're very algebraically based, and hopefully hopefully you'll see where you could have picked up some, some easy marks. And there's quite a lot of marks here. There was a uh, question was worth three, then four, then four, then five. Well, so it was worth seven, sixteen. 26 marks, which is a third of the paper just in this uh, last section, so it's really important. I'm going to do a little mini video on each one, I think, because otherwise the video will get too long. So work out the values of a and b if x squared plus ax minus 2 is equal to this. So let's write this out. x squared plus ax minus 2 is equal to x minus 3 squared minus b. So let's expand up this right-hand side and see what we can compare between this side and this side. I think that's possibly the best way to go forward. So x squared plus ax minus 2 is equal to... Well, if I just expand out this bracket here as x squared minus 3x, um, what am I going to get? From here, I'm going to get uh, plus 9. And then I can't forget my minus b. Okay, so you'll see that this is kind of like completed the square form. Now, once we've got these things, we can compare both sides. Oh, mistake. I think I said it, but I may not have written it. This should be 6x. We get a minus 3x and another minus 3x. So let's go back. Let's compare. If we look at the uh, coefficients of x squared. We've got 1 on each side. Uh, we've got 1 on each side. Okay, so the x squared bits are fine. If we look at the coefficients of x, compare the coefficients of x, on the left hand side we've got a, just the numbers in front of the x, and on the right hand side we've got minus 6. So we can compare that instantly and see that, therefore, a must be minus 6. If we look at the constants, i.e. the numbers on both sides, we can see we've got minus 2 on this side, and on this side we've got plus 9 minus b. So we can solve this, or we can just look at it and see that b must be, well, minus b. b must be 11, mustn't it? To get to minus 2, if I'm on 9, I need to take away 11. So we can solve this. So take away 9 from both sides, we get minus 11 is equal to minus b, or 11 is equal to b, b is equal to 11. So there are two expressions. So we find that a must be minus 6, and b must be 11, in order for these two values, for these expressions to be equal. Okay. So what I did was expanded the bit, and then I compared the left-hand side and the right-hand side, and compared the x squares were obviously in the right place, the a had to be minus 6 to match up, and then this minus 2 value had to be the same as this. Okay, so go back over and look at this and check that you understand.